Hey there guys, we've got news for November 2nd, and this week joining me to discuss the very large amount of news we got in this video is Titus again. So you can say hello again, Titus. Hey everyone, happy Halloween. <laughs> Indeed, um, you know, we are... Oh, it actually is Halloween today, isn't it? That's true, huh? Well, the, the day we're recording this video. It is, it is for me. I don't know if it is for you yet. <laughs> it is. It is very early for me over here, but uh, Halloween just started. Um, but we have the Adventure of Die Dragon Quest. So not really unexpected. I mean, this was, you know, the next event in JP. So basically, as expected. So just out of curiosity, are you like a Dragon Quest Die fan, uh, Titus? Um, I, I, I don't want to upset any of your hardcore Dragon Quest fans, but I've never played a Dragon Quest game. <laughs> oh, really? I, I've actually played a few of the games. I haven't watched any of the animes or the, the mangas, feel, as people correct me often. I feel, I, feel like, I feel like there's manga and anime as, of it as well. Was, so was Dai one of the games, or is he, is, was his just a manga or slash anime or whatever? Uh, I believe from previous videos, people tell me that it's not an anime. It's a, it's a manga, I think, but I could be mistaken and we're about your... We're about to get corrected in the comments again. <laughs> yeah, obviously. How, how, Wait. how, how Titus and Sins are not no. known this. No, it, it, it is an anime. Absolutely. Because I've seen YouTube clips of a fight between some of the characters. Yes, it's definitely, there, an, it's there, definitely there an anime. Yeah, there you go. Sins are right. All of you are wrong. Exactly. Get that sorted. Uh, but here is Avon, him, and Larhart. So basically, here's Avon. <laughs> <laughs> Very um, true. <laughs> He's even getting up. He's even getting upgraded, which is kind of amusing. Although we'll talk about we'll talk about that in a minute. So here is the banner format. So you get either a slightly discounted pity cost if you skip the banner itself, the full banner. A pity is going to cost you forty three thousand. But if you look right here. This, if uh -huh. you go all the way, you get a guaranteed one out of the three units. And if you do that and then continue to the pity, let's assume you don't get the one you wanted, your pity cost is going to be 54000 So, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like undecided if I like this format or not because, like, you know, if you just want the pity, 43 k is... I mean, not cheap, but cheaper than we're kind of adjusted to at this point. But it it would feel so terrible to go forty three k and have that like chance of getting the one you really want only eleven k away, but then not getting it would just like leave you with sadness. So I don't know. What do you, what what are your thoughts on this kind of a format, Titus? Oh, uh, I mean, looking at it, I, I don't know. I'm not I'm not a fan. You've got like a one of those guaranteed, and most people are going for Avon. That's a thirty-three percent chance. So mm. y y it's just a gacha upon a gacha. It's like I, I'm not. I don't. I don't think I'm a fan. <laughs> yeah, like if it if it was a one and two of like you know the wind or the dud, I'd be a lot more inclined to go for. It. But one and three. Uh, and the other two, I mean, you can't really call them duds. They're fine units, but let's speak honestly here. No one really wants them, except for, like, hardcore fans, in which case you probably won all three anyway, so it's a win no matter mm -hmm. what. So, yeah. Yeah, not, not, nah. Nah, not for me. Yeah. Uh, but Avon is getting upgraded. So the only upgrade um, is completely honest here, a mostly meaningless one. Um, they're changing his leader skill. Uh, it's always been 750 to Dragon Quest die units, but now it's going to be 600 to wind units, <coughs> which it used to be it's 500 in JP. So yeah, yeah. from five to 600. Um, the thing here is like most of the wind units you'd really use on a Dark Visions team already are covered in other ways. Like either they're covered under like Evocation, Rebellion. There are the Clash of Wills, Wind Tag, like Malfazy. Um, so, like, the only ones that are standing alone, like, needing a better leader skill is, very amusingly enough, the Wind Leader himself, Zidane. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well. Yeah, so it, it, it's sort of the school treatment, but it doesn't really change anything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, Avon is basically just 
a breaker like Vanille with a bunch of elements and an imperil field. Um, <clears throat> by memory, I think his element. Oh god, I, I don't. I don't remember. I know it's wind and a few others. Uh, all who, right, all right. I've got, I've got I've got you covered here. I've got his page open. I've okay. got his page open. Let's um, go. So do 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 do. If I can, oh, there you go. Fire, ice, lightning, wind, and light. There you go. And light is kind of the nice one because currently the only like light in peril field that is even sort of halfway relevant would be Quistus, and you don't want to put Quistus on your party. So if you're going with a dedicated light party, this is certainly your guy. I think. Yeah, that's great, because he does the whole 89 breaks. He's got 150 in peril and 40 in peril field. It's just like three in one. That's great. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, other than that, not a whole lot going on with the kit. I mean, he's got some like weird tricks in his kit and all, like a self-damage nuke thing. It's going to deal minimal damage. It's more for flavor than anything else. But uh, he, he's basically just your Dark Visions Breaker with some fields. That's... The end of it, I mean, that's a really good role to have. He's certainly a great unit, but um, that's what he does. And he's, he's good at it. He's good at it. He's good. <laughs> Not much more to that. Um, his TMR and STMR are, you know, fine. Nothing special. Like, the TMR is LB damage and relatively low stats. And then the STMR is, amusingly, another um, accessory. And, uh, <laughs> you know, guts. But it's, not, it's, it's nothing special. It really isn't. Okay, cool, cool, good to know. Yep, and then moving along, we've got Soul Heritor Him, who is basically a light damage dealer. Does very high damage on a light party. Um, the issue is, uh, he's not going to fit on the light party you're probably using. Like, if you're using a light party, very, very high chance your leader is Tyvus, and he does not match mm -hmm. Tyvus' leader skill at all. Does not. Fit. Oh no, of course, because yeah, because he does CW light. He doesn't do non CW light. Yep. So he that, doesn't fit Tyvus him out. in the least. Uh, so that's a problem. So I guess he would fit on Squall's party if you're still back in the Stone Ages with Squall as your leader. Um, that's kind of it. He's also he also of course fits on the Dragon Quest Die party with uh, with Avon. Um, and again, you could have Avon lead your like multi element party and you know have fun with it. Uh, and he'd be a good damage dealer. Like, his personal damage just in a vacuum is very, very high. Like, he's one of the top ten, definitely, damage dealers on Global at the current time. Um, it's just that that whole awkward, like, on a light party, you really want to bring, like, Tyvis and, you know, other light units. <laughs> Addison mm -hmm. Ray, probably, uh, for Dark Visions, etc. And it's, I, I don't know. It, you kind of really want Squall to tie it all together, which means you're kind of downgrading your leader skill to do that. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. Mm-hmm. And yeah, not a lot more to say about him. He's just an SOB damage dealer, very high damage in the light element. Uh, and his STMR and TMR are, again, fine. Nothing nothing outstanding. Like, oh, you know, you're, 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 you're not going to regret missing these, but if you get them... They're usable, I guess. Yay. <laughs> it's, it's, an, it's an interesting comparison because, you know, his TMR used to be the STMR standard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think this is like literally Ununite's STMR except uh, fist instead of swords. It's, it, it, it is literally the exact same thing. <coughs> and yeah, it's usable. I frequently use Ununite's STMR on Dwayne, so it's, it's good. It's good. Uh, and then Larhart, the kind of black sheep of the banner, uh, he's a wind damage dealer. And as we know going forward, wind is out of the meta and no signs of coming back in the next six months. So, yeah, you are the wrong element, bro. That's really all there is to that. <laughs> yeah, no no wind units even stand out to me. I like get, get, I like get to Malphazy and I'm like, what's next? Mm -hmm. mm. Yep. Um, and his damage isn't even like super good. It's definitely lower than him's damage. Uh, the element is much inferior. We know that's not coming back anytime soon unless Global does a Global thing, but sort of doubtful. Uh, and yeah, so, you know, this, this is the one where if you do that step up and you get the one and three, and this guy pops out, you're just going home sad. <laughs> it's really true. Yeah. Uh, poor guy. Mm -hmm. Poor guy. 
And once again, TMR and STMR, nothing special. Like, the TMR is just, you know, five-star status. The STMR is for him only. So, yay. There you go. Yeah. Love it. Uh, well, I'm glad we got through the units quite you know, quickly, because there's a lot more to go still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of like speeding through them a little bit more than usual, because we do have a lot more to cover. Uh, what's that? But, uh, what's, go what's, ahead. what's that bit about drop rate increasing? Increased starting November. Oh yeah, November second's oh, Thursday. Oh, my yeah, yeah. my brain. Because <laughs> that, so. that, that's when the banner opens. <laughs> but um, overall, I was kind of looking forward to Avon, and I was intending to try for him. But you know, if you saw my videos, I dumped 150 tickets on Tyvis. My ticket stash mm -hmm. is completely gone, so there's no tickets to be used on him. I'm, I'm I've got like five from you know build, building it back up over time, but it's. I've got like five tickets. Um, I'm not uh -oh. going. I'm, yeah, I'm not going 54k on him. I'm not even going 43k for the pity. So for me, I guess Avon's going to be a skip. I just went. I just well, went. Yeah, go ahead. Speaking of you know pulling pain and whatever, I I, I got the Facebook compensation absolutely undeserved because I actually was able to log in <laughs> through the whole time. But um, through I, I spent all my tickets. I got like Ty. I got Tyvis. I got. Um, I actually got Nelica, and Ooh. you got Yeesh, got Addison Ray, <laughs> and then the game punished me, of course, because then I went to pull for Chow and had to go to Pity. Oh, unfortunate. Unfortunate. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> and then... I, I, I did, I, oh, go on, sorry. I was going to say, uh, next is the raid event. There is not much to cover here. It's a raid event. You guys know what it is. Uh, the gear. It's our first time with 10 orbs, yay. <laughs> oh yeah, with 10 orbs, that's true, huh? And maybe they'll do a global exclusive use all orbs at once, but we, we, we know they're not going to. <laughs> <laughs> Good joke. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice? Uh, but yeah, it's a rate event. And then we're going to go through just a few like bundles and stuff, because these are a little bit different than usual. So this one, <laughs> the only reason I'm bringing it up, and I, I rarely even mention the cash bundles, but it's just kind of funny to me. That legendary hero Sephiroth and 350 of his fragments. So they're selling you literally EX3 Sephiroth from zero, um, which is kind of amusing. Why? Yeah, like he's, he's, like he's outdated even after his up his last upgrades. What I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's like just not very great anymore, honestly. So unless this is like, it's not gonna be, but like a five dollar bundle. It, yeah, if it was, like, super cheap. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, then maybe, but it's, like, even for a newer player, just as much as I love him and as, as good as he was for, like, a year and a half, uh, I, his time is gone, unfortunately. It's Sephiroth is just not there anymore. So, yeah, I would not recommend this. But, again, for a brand new player, and if this is extremely cheap, like five, maybe ten dollars... Then, then go for it. Why not? He's still going to carry you through 98% of the game as a new player. That'll, that'll be fine. But for anyone else, I, I, I really just say this is, this is not what you want to be spending on. But your decision. Another thing is they're adding this to the daily video summon. This is kind of awesome, actually. Um, and this daily video thing is actually a brand new thing. Is it? I thought, I thought, I thought this was the, the uh, watch, and, watch a video ad for the spin wheel. Isn't that what I'm talking but about? I, is it? I, 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 that's the thing I can't tell. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, 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 it's it got is. a different banner for it because it doesn't say it's the ad. It doesn't say it's the ad wheel. Uh, it, 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 it is the ad wheel because, for example, when you go in the game and you're out of energy, and the game is saying refill energy, you can use potions, lapis, or watch a video. The watch a video mm -hmm. summon is the watch the advertisement. Seven, seven ads a day. And um, you get the little spin wheel, and you get either the energy potion or varying amounts of lapis. Uh, they're adding these to it instead now. Well, not instead. And I'm not sure if it's instead. Oh, that's a question, it, huh? Is it instead? Seems like made available. Mm, I. They're no, never very clear, are they? Um, yeah, because if it's instead, that's actually taking away sources of lapis because you don't get a lot of it, but you no. get like. 20 to 30 per day on average sometimes you hit a you hit a lucky 150 um so taking that away feels bad but this, if this is in addition to it'd be awesome 
but how would that even work? Would you get like Lapis Wait. and one of these tickets? So, uh, going back to my point earlier, I think it is different because at the top it says introducing 140 guarantee and daily video summon. So they're introducing it. Hmm. Well, the daily video summon is this right here. Because perform a yeah. summon on the daily video summon and get a guaranteed five star or neo. It, I mean, I, 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 it's not clear. Like, we, you could be right, I could be right. <laughs> we won't. I don't think we'll find out until Thursday. Collect forty of these to summon think, an NV unit. I'm so confused. I, You're right. I, I think don't, it's I, different. <laughs> I think it's different, but you know, I could be wrong. So if this is just a new advertising wheel. I mean, geez. Lately, I've been getting, like, all 30-second advertisements, I swear. Yeah, it's painful. <laughs> but if you get free NVs from it, sure, I'll watch more advertisements while I'm watching TV. You know, I'm not really watching them, but kind of. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's new. So it's on Thursday, and I just hope they're not replacing the lapis you did get from, because it does feel like they're really trying to scrape every source of like free lapis away slowly over time so hopefully that's not and, the case here and is this is this permanent then it doesn't have like an end date on it or anything i oh it does yeah so it's, oh. a, it's a, like a, uh, nine days okay well no no it's this is 11 too this is november 2nd this is january oh. 11th so. <laughs> sorry i i'm, I'm getting my whole U uk date for man mind is breaking me like i read it right the first <laughs> time and wrong the second time yeah. So okay, this so is... a couple, it's, a, it's a couple. It's still a couple months. So mm -hmm. I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot of, and it's a very limited pool, isn't it? It's, it's it, well, I don't know. It, it put it shows it shows you a picture of Rick and Lightning. Oh, um, I'm I'm, but, I'm sure there's more than just those two in the pool. It probably is, um, and it says it's going to be updated on a weekly basis. So it is probably just it is probably just a full pool, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, so this will be interesting to see on. Thursday. Also, we're getting daily five free pulls. Um, Yay. Not much to say about that. It's a daily five free pull. Yay. You know, it's nice. You know, hopefully, hopefully you get some. 5% rate act. Look at this. 5% rate for Neo. 5%. Not bad. So it might be a little less blues and golds than I thought. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what's, the, what's the date on that? Uh, 20 days. Okay, so 20 not days. Bad. Not bad. Yeah, really. That's, that's pretty nice. Uh, also, we're getting this, the Adventure of Die Gem Summon. So you get five of these, and you get one of the old, only the old, Dragon Quest Die units. Um, you know, you summon these, and as far as how you get these, for one thing, you're going to get five of them immediately for free on day one. So you get a free, a free die unit right away. Um, in JP, I got Pop. I got Pop. Literally the worst of the worst. Oh, so you can't <laughs> even pick. No, it's random. It is random. Oh, because yeah. I, I I wouldn't mind um, I guess another Hyunkle just because I well, I already have one and getting he 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 he's one of them niche tanks that like oh you suddenly need racial mitts and he's got them mm -hmm. there you go probably won't happen but it's <laughs> nice to have yep and this login bonus is actually pretty nice you get you know another crocodile or your first if you're a new player another power cut another power cut very very nice and then you know a lot of take like this is a pretty generous free login bonus I like that. Nice. It is. Uh, Free stuff. Then, Love it. Mm -hmm. And then here is another just random step up summon. Uh, you're also going to get more of these little tokens. So if you really want <coughs> another random of these units, you can do the step up. Mm -hmm. um, again, I wouldn't guarantee it. I mean, I wouldn't. I, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, but you are going to get these curated tickets. And down here, you're going to get a leader from this pool and there's a couple good units in this pool honestly a few of them are kind of duds but uh there's definitely some nice ones in here like if you don't have ibarra she's amazing um flaring rain is sort of falling away at this point but uh he's still usable um roos right here is got buffed recently pretty decent but there's a few duds like uh, ace is kind of a dud at this point zach is a dud at this point deoxys is kind of dead at this point but uh the the risk. only two in those, the only two in those I don't have are Roos and Snovlinka. I don't think I don't think I'll be doing this, but it would be nice to get a Snovlinka because the whole season four clear of Beacula or whatever that. that mm, is. Yeah. Uh, so the price is twenty four thousand. Oh, that's expensive. That is really expensive it is. for a completely off players. Okay, uh, 
I'm definitely not going to do that then. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend that. Well, you do get a guaranteed a guaranteed Dragon Quest, two tickets for two of these guarantees. That's three guarantees. You also get. Oh wait, no. This is a curated pool. I'm 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 so bad at reading. So the news. the summon is for the curated pool, and then the tickets are what the oh fragment. Be... Fragments, fragments. Okay. right here. Leader select. It's, they're specific for leader units as well. Mm -hmm. So it's not nearly as good as I thought it was. Oh well. I wouldn't recommend this, but definitely make <laughs> up your own minds. Then we're getting some upgrades. I'm sorry. Downgrades. Downgrades, Downgrades yeah. <laughs> to these material. Now, to be fair, it's mostly irrelevant. I'll show you why in a second. But basically... This legendary Dragon Quest IX used to give 750 flat stats. Now it just gives percent stats. This is actually being just rolled into all the kits naturally. So this is actually not a loss because this is a perk. Because before, obviously, every Dragon Quest, every Dragon Quest unit wanted this. Only one existed. And the rest of them were just, like, not at their full potential. This is now baked into all the kits innately, which is really nice. Okay. That's good. That's a good change. Mm -hmm. <laughs> On the other hand, this is, a, this, this is a pure downgrade. So the Bond of the Disciple is going from a preemptive auto 180 buff to a passive Demon Killer buff. I'm talking, not, not a buff, a passive, just passive, like regular old material. So it's just a worse uh, Lunara's STMR. And this is a huge downgrade because there's no replacement here. While this one, they baked it into the kit. For this one, they did nothing. It's just, you lose it too bad. Deal with it. <laughs> it sucks. Unfortunate. Mm-hmm. And now we get into some of the really, really negative stuff about this update. So, unit updates. And as you see, it looks like, oh, they're updating all the units. Well, JP did. Not global. Uh, Not global. Oh. Oh, no. oh, no. Yeah, so all these updates... All they're doing are they're adding this buff right here. This thing. Oh. So Yeah, so the only update to the little hero, it adds 750 flat stats. So they bake that material into it, and then Air Slash gets, gets a mod buff. That's so irrelevant. Same thing here. Uh, they, they, they add the 750 stats here. Small mod buff that doesn't matter, etc., etc., etc. Now, the problem here is... In JP, they also got real upgrades. Hero Die and He Uncle got crown sages, so there were EX crown fights, there were silver crowns, and there were upgrades. Die got a 150 amplify. Obviously important oh. these days. Not on global, he's not getting it. Uh, he Uncle Baran, um, I think. Okay, I know Baran and Hyunkle also got 100% Amplifies for free. Completely free. Just, just, they just got them. Uh, I think Hadlar and Mam may have as well. I don't remember. I can't swear to that. I could be wrong. But these two I know got it. I know Baran and Hyunkle got them in JP. And some of these others have some other small upgrades. And Global is skipping all of that. We're skipping the Crown Stages. We're skipping the 150 Amplifies. We're skipping the 100 Amplifies. We're skipping the free upgrades. All these units are just... Not getting it. Not wow, getting that's it. a that, that's a, that's a lot of skipped stuff. Mm -hmm. Especially it takes away the events as well. It does, yeah. The crown stages are just gone, um, and yeah, that sucks. Also, we're skipping uh, the upgrade to corrupt emperor material. Minor upgrade, um, but it did add killers to it, which was nice. Uh, we're skipping the gear upgrades, so the TMRs and STMRs of some of the units got upgraded. Skipping those as well. Like, we're just skipping all kind of stuff from this event, and it's... Like, why does Global love to skip unit upgrades? They hate upgrading older units. I do not understand this. It drives me insane. Yeah, uh, uh, it's, 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 I don't know. I, <laughs> skip, upgrading old units doesn't get money? I don't know. I guess so. Oh, my God. Um, Sorry. Another Season 4 update. Um, so I know how I said <coughs> I was going to start reading the story again. And, <laughs> well, well, here's the thing. There's my plan. I have decided to start reading the story again. 
The issue is every single time I'm like, I'm going to start doing this. I'm like, I don't really have time to sit down and just read all this dialogue. I end up just not doing it. So I am like two updates, just not even clear. I haven't even gone and cleared the stage and collected the lapis because I like, I want to read, I want to read it, but I just don't have the like hour and a half to sit down and go through the dialogue. So it just like, it's just incomplete for me at this point. I'm missing like a lot of free lapis from the story. So I do intend to start reading it again, but because of that, I just haven't done story at all in like three months. <laughs> But uh, here's some more. Oh, who's this? I, uh, she, she's new, huh? I think so. I I I saw I re saw this and I didn't recognize her. Um, so I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure who that is. Metsy, Eli, goodbye. Okay. Oh, well. it's Metsy and Eli. So it'd be the I, fl I forget the third person's name who was part of their little trio. Um, forget forget their name now. I suppose. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I will have to at some point sit down, stop watching TV, and do the actual story. <laughs> but I will. I, I, I do the story. I, 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 I'm up to the story, so I should know this. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, you, mean, you make it sound like she's not very uh, memorable, though. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh. oh, well. I'm not sure. Oh, well. Uh, and then something else. Um, we're going to get into the big event of the week. So they mentioned this in the, I think, the news or a live stream. I don't know. But they mentioned it. They mentioned it briefly. But here it is. Uh, so they're changing the score criteria. So for those of you that go for high ranks or rank one, it's going to be no change. So the biggest change score, all that's changing is the score itself. The criteria is not changing. Meaning if you always get a 100 count change score... You're not going to notice a difference. The only difference is at this point, instead of getting 10,000 points, you're going to get 15,000 points. Same thing for KOs. As long as no one ever dies on your party and a dark vision is clear, you're going to get, instead of like whatever it used to be, I think 10,000, now it's 75,000. And then damage received, if you took less than 5k, you're now going to get 100, 150,000. The thing is, what this does is penalizes you for not following this criteria. So the reason they're doing this, um, I guess I can't swear to this, but it seemed like the reason they were doing this is it started to get popular in JP to like just ignore damage taken. And it was better to completely ignore damage taken, let your party get like decimated by AOEs, guts the party, and just deal more damage by like dropping a tank or whatever. So they now added this score to basically instead of losing 10,000 points for doing that, you're going to lose 150,000 points, which means, re realistically, you can't do that anymore. You have to care about damage. So, yeah. So, as far as I understand, then people would do that on, like, the final uncap uncappable stage and just be like, okay, we're going to take as much damage as we want just so we can do more damage and get higher points that way. Exactly, exactly. Because it's, it's, it was actually more of a thing in Dark Vision's Abyss, which Global doesn't have. But Dark Vision's Abyss, um, you don't have to bring a tank. You definitely don't. A lot of players don't. But the bosses are designed in a way to where you would want a tank to make it easier. to Because the bosses deal really dangerous damage. And there are certainly ways to get around it. For example, like just bringing Songstress Yuna to give a killer and do her 99% mitigation. Stuff like that. So you can get around it. But the strategy for some people was to not bring a support unit or a tank or anything and completely ignore the mechanics and just take, <laughs> take you know, the boss does an AUE for 100,000 damage. They would just equip, you know, lucid lenses on the whole party and just guts it and not care and take get a zero in da damage, damage taken. And there and you, you and you were you're only losing 10,000 points, which was, you know, who cares if you're, if you're able to deal an extra five billion as a side effect of doing that, it was worth it. Well, now it's not. So there you and go. And Alan, Alan, Alan could not sit, stand by no. and watch them ignore their game mechanics. Pretty much. Yep. So n now you have <laughs> to care about damage taken to get a decent score. Uh, right. And and speaking of, here is the big event. It is World of Visions Dragon Quest Die. So this is literally a rerun event. It's the exact same event we've already gotten before. Um, it's, it's not like a real rerun because all the scores are reset, all the rewards are reset, you're getting it all again, um, etc. But it's the same bosses, same AI, same everything. Stats are higher because it's, you know, it's later. But uh, 
Same exact event as before. Uh, Dragon Quest Dive. So, I just, so right here, I just want to call this out real quick. They are thankfully opening everything on day one. We are not having the stupid delay where the final boss is like two or four days delayed. Because it is a farming event. And you want to farm the final mm -hmm. boss and you want to farm him right away. Thankfully, they've heard our feedback. They are changing it to let us do it on day one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Straight to the final boss. Yes, very good. Uh, it, 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 it is a shared rank one. Um, like uh, the last Vision World, it's probably going to be relatively challenging to get a rank one. Certainly doable. I would expect a thousand plus players to do it. Um, I, I don't know, but I would just assume... Uh, but I'm also assuming it's probably going to require some modern units to do it. But who knows? It could be like the Xeno Gears where rank one was a guaranteed. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> well, we will see. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and the gear is overall fine. Um, I don't know if this is the same gear as we had before or if it's upgraded to be better. I honestly don't know. But, uh, yeah, here it is. <laughs> Do you know, Titus? Do I know? Um, I mean, some of that gear looks familiar. Uh, mirror of sh I de definitely know we've had a Mirror of sh 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 oh, oh, yeah. We, we've, we've had it in the past. I just don't know if it was plus four last time or if now it's well, becoming plus four. Hmm. I don't know. I don't actually know. They are, yeah. So, so, someone, someone inform us. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. I guess I will mention, I think we're, like, overdue at this point for some of the Dark Vision's weapons. Like, the two-handed gun, the two-handed... There, there, there was a batch of three new weapons that I I think we're overdue for at this point, but I can't swear to it. No. But we'll see. Well, that's, a, know. that's a shame, because some of these uh, two-handed Dark Vision weapons are quite nice. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Uh, and then this is not specifically new news, but I just figured I'd mention it. So the issue report we've had recently. So for those of you that saw what was going on this weekend, people that had Ayabrea basically went on a rampage and totally abused all the undead bosses of the entire game, including the Clash mm -hmm. of Wills boss. Uh, yep. they, well, they, I, de I definitely did. <laughs> they have hotfixed that. So, Ayabrea is no longer able to OTK undead bosses. Um, what this means is, uh, basically, you can't use the, the cheese thing on Clash of Wills anymore. Um, now, I do want to, you know, in, in their defense, I will say this is, for the most part, not really that important as far as Clash Rank 1 Clash of Wills clears. Just because... If your team is strong enough to deal 5 billion damage, which you would still have to do, Aya or not, you still have to deal with the 5 billion damage for a rank 1. If your team is that level of power, finishing the fight off is honestly a cakewalk. It's very, very easy. The only challenge is hitting that 5 billion damage. And this bug had no effect at all on dealing that 5 billion damage while getting a rank 1 clear. So... I've seen a lot of people saying, like, oh, no, I can't get rank one because they're fixing this. That's not really the case. Um, on the other hand, it did make it easier, certainly, because you could just skip phase two. And while phase two is easy, I mean, you're still skipping phase two. So at the end of the day, it is still easier. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. What are your thoughts about this uh, being hot fixed? The, the, the thing is, it's, it's a little bit inconsistent because last, last month, they had the whole hoopla about the the ailment thing, and that was just left in for the whole event. This one, they're hot fixing a bug right away. So, what are your thoughts on that, Titus? Uh, I, I just think that the moment it's 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 in the game, unless unless it's absolutely hindering people, f you know, if if it's an absolute hindrance like it has been in the past, and it well, like that ailment bug was, well, it was a bug, well, whatever. I feel like they should have just probably just take take taken the L and just kept left left it in. But um, no, I can see why they patched it. But I just I just feel like once once it's out, once people have been using it, just kind of keep it in for the event and then just fix it. Um, because well, I, I I've already I've already abused it to do all my ticket farming. That made it a lot easier because I was previously going to a turn two otherwise. Um. 
I didn't do the rank one yet, so I've missed my chance on that one. But I did do the Ashura cheese. But I think <laughs> it, I, 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 I think it should have. I think it should have stayed for the duration of Clash. Mm. You see, um, I, I definitely see your viewpoint, and I, I would assume most people do agree with that. I personally feel like I, I like bugs to be fixed immediately. Um, see, my issue is not that they're fixing this one so quickly. I think them fixing this one quickly is the right move. I think the wrong move was last month where they ignored it for two weeks. That's my big issue. And I'm a little frustrated that specifically for that reason. Because last month we had two weeks of a major problem that was certainly a handicap for the players and all. And they ignored it for two weeks. This I one... Mean- and this one, well, this one where it's like, I mean, people do it as a joke or a meme, but it's it's kind of sort of true. This one was like a beneficial bug for the player, and they mm-hmm. jump on it like that. And I, I, I'm glad they jump on a bug. They should always jump on a bug. But they need to jump on the negative bugs, too. Like, last month, they should have jumped on that one day one. Like, they knew about it on day one. It should have been fixed instantly. And they ignored it for two weeks. Whereas this one, they fixed it pretty much right away because like, it, it's inconsistent, their policy on dealing with problems. And I, I don't like that. The inconsistency yeah, of it. it, 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 it you, do, you don't want to be all conspiracy theorists like, oh yeah, they'll just, they'll just patch the, 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 benef- the ones that are beneficial to the player and they'll leave the ones that are the hindrance. But it does seem to be the case most of the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you know, just just once again to be clear on my position, I'm not upset they're fixing a bug. I think fixing a bug is always the right move, I believe. So I'm glad they're fixing this one right away. Don't get me wrong here. I'm just kind of regurgitating the problem of last month where they didn't fix it right away. And that's that's my, my little soapbox for a moment. But yeah. Uh, and then the last thing that we're just going to really quickly point out is just, you know, once again, um, something that we skipped is, as Titus mentioned to me, we, we skipped the three-minute energy change. So this big client patch that we just got, you know, it was supposed to lower the energy regeneration from five minutes per energy to three minutes per energy. And I was did. looking forward to that. We didn't on Global. Yeah, they, they, we, just, they left yeah, it in. Yeah, we're spending 400 energy a day on Esperors and, you know, going from recovering 288 energy in a day to, you know, 480 is a big jump. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And hopefully, maybe it's just delayed. Maybe the client patch in, uh, what is it, October will hopefully bring the three-minute energy regen. But uh, it's not here yet. Not here yet. Nope. But nope. all right. We've pretty much gone through all the news. Anything anything we missed, Titus? I mean, the only other thing worth mentioning, you know, is, you know, we, we we welcomed her into the game um, a few months ago, and now she's leaving us. Uh, Addison Ray last week to get her, if you, if you, if you if you want. Um, she's going she's going away on on Thursday. That is true. Wednesday that is evening. true. And this is like this is Addison Ray's like moment to shine in the current Clash of Wills. And honestly speaking, I have not seen many clears with her. I tried her briefly on my light clear, but I just found that 2B was easier to use. <laughs> I swapped her for 2B uh, in the clear that I did do. And But yeah, ha- have you seen many clears with rank 1 clears with Addison Ray on the party yet? The, to be honest, the only time I ever saw rank 1 clears with Addison Ray was when you did like the sort of like meme clear of Addison Ray and people copied you. Oh, you mean uh... on the pre- on the previous one? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, and that, it wasn't even that Addison Ray. It was the it was a free one. Oh, oh, you mean like two months ago? Two yeah, months yeah. Ago. I, forgot about that. <laughs> I was thinking that you, you definitely did a meme clear of Addison Ray. I forgot it was the free one, the, the rubbish one. Oh yeah, no, I've actually meant the, the 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 light one. I haven't. No, I haven't seen. I don't think I've seen any with the clear it with the cool moves, Addison Ray. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the the problem I've I've, I've had with her is like. She just doesn't really bring anything, 
And, I mean, I guess, technically speaking, neither does 2B, huh? Because 2B doesn't, literally does nothing except damage. I mean, it's good damage, but yeah. it's just damage. So does Azen, right? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Technically speaking, 2B can even do um, Light Imperil, can't you? It's just other units do that too. Oh, I know what it was. I know what it was when I was building my team. Yeah, it's because of the chain frames. I needed someone else to do uh, Extreme Nova, and 2B did uh, that, oh. and Addison Ray did not. That, that was why I swapped them out in that clear. That's why. I remember now. Well, that, that, that's, that's the problem, Addison. You should have had Extreme Nova chains. <laughs> Seems that way, but yeah. But it's, anyway, it's yeah. so co it's so common in global. That it's just kind of crazy they didn't give her extreme nova, really. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But uh, yep, the Addison. Better. So is 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 it closing like this week in two days? It is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, if you want her, now's your chance. Yeah, right. I mean, you've obviously you, if you didn't get if you didn't get the shards, you've already missed the chance for an easy ex two. But you know. Mm-hmm. All right. So thanks again for joining me, Titus. No worries. It's my birthday tomorrow, so <laughs> happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, and hopefully you get Avon on one of those daily free pulls, because he is in the pool, oh, I believe. That, that would be sweet. <laughs> All right. See you guys later. See you later.